Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a ringtone for your iPhone on iTunes. It's completely free and it's really easy. So as you can see, I have I Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas. What you want to do, you want to right click on that and go down to create AAC version. And it's going to create a new, another version. It's the same copy and it takes a while. Maybe 10 seconds. Once it's on, you hear that sound. And then you go choose that one and go to Get Info. You right click on this song right here. And then Get Info. And you're going to change it to like iPhones can only hold up to 40 second ringtones on here, so you're gonna want to change it to like from wherever you want to like for. Okay, I'm just gonna change it to zero forty, and then you're gonna press OK, and then right click that, go to create AAC version, click that. This one takes a lot shorter because it's only 40 seconds see that one's only 40 seconds so what you want to do you right click on the one that's only 40 seconds and you go to show in windows explorer now a new window is going to show up and this one right here it's on the bottom it's going to be the um, song and then 2.m4a now if you haven't already done this you're going to go to organize Folder and search options. Go to view. And then right here, if this is checked, you're going to want to uncheck that. See? It says hide extensions for files, known fi for known file types. Okay, so you're going to uncheck that. And then press apply. So, and you're going to exit out of that. And then what you want to do, you want to go to this and change it from an .m4a file, backspace, and put an R for ringtone. And then you're going to click away from that. It's going to say if you change the file extension, the file may come unusable. Just press yes because it won't, that won't happen. And then you're going to right click, or you're going to left click here two times, and it should play, it start, start playing, it's going to start playing in iTunes, but it's going to be in the ringtones, see right here, ringtones, and then you take that and drag it onto the iPhone, which I don't have on here right now, so yeah, that's pretty much how you do it, thanks for watching guys, bye.